हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर टू विच इज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज अबाउट द एम्ब्रियोजेनी विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द एम्ब्रियो फॉर्मेशन नाउ वट इज द बेसिक डेफिनेशन इज दैट इट इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मच्योर एम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम जाइगॉट नाउ इन द अर्लियर डेवलपमेंट when these kind of embryo is produced it will be called as a pro embryo and it will show some kind of symmetry which is an axial symmetry because it has been divided into two parts in the starting the first one will be called as a second cell will be called as an embryo cell now these kind of embryo when developing shows certain kinds of globular stages now what does the globular means it will divide into certain kinds of cells like one cell divide into two and two will divide into four these kind of divisions will be taking place in this that's why it is called as an globular stages now the last one is that it is also called or this embryo development is also endosperm copic in nature now what do you mean by endoscopic because the development of embryo occurs inside due to the presence of suspensor it is called as an endoscopic also so now let us understand the different kinds of embryogeny presents so basically this embryogeny has been divided into two categories the one is known as dicot and the another will be known as monocot so let us understand the dicot in detail there is a diagram given over there in which it has been marked like a b c d and it goes to h will be studying from a to h and these are the steps which will be taken taking place in an embryo when it is in single cellular structure and then it will be converted into a full developed embryo so as we as we can see from the diagram a it is basically a zygote now these zygote divides into two unequal cells the larger suppressor cell towards the micropylar end and a smaller embryo cells grows towards the antipodal region so there will be a two categories the second when we are seeing the second image which is b and c then the suspensor cell undergoes transforming six to 10 celled suspensor the first cell of suspensor is called hostorium and last which is toward embryo cell is called as hypophysis and it will form a radical now embryo cell divides twice vertically and once transversely to produce a two tiered h cell called embryo the epibasal tier forms two cotyledons and a pumule the hypobasal which is near the suspensor tier produces two hypocots initially it is globular in its structure but after some time it becomes heart shaped structure and finally takes on the typical shape which has been shown on the screen a typical dicot embryo consists of an embryonal axis and two cotyledons the part of embryonal axis above the level of cotyledons is called epicotyle it ends with the stem tip called as the plumule the plumule gives rise to the future shoot of the plant the part below the level of cotyledons is called hypocots it terminates in the root tip called radical the radical gives rise to the future root the root tipped with the root cap so all of this process have to be understood in a single go and in the next slide i have already completed completely written all the things so that you can just write it down and then you can understand easily while listening to the things so in this slide basically you can just pause it down and then you can write all the points necessary for the development of an dicot embryogeny so it will consider all the steps which i have just told you and you can easily understand by reading it down 
सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज मोनोकोट एम्ब्रियोजेनी एंड बेसिकली इट इज सिमिलर टू द डाइकोट एम्ब्रियोजेनी बट विद अ स्लाइट डिफरेंसेस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट थिंग द मेन सेल व्हिच इज नोन एज द जाइगोट और व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज ऊस्पोर अंडरगोस ट्रांसफर्स डिवीजन टू प्रोड्यूस अ सस्पेंसर सेल which is facing the micropylar end and the another one is known as embryo cell which is facing the chalazal end in this diagram there is no embryo cell but the dividation of middle cell and terminal cell is called as an embryo cell because the embryo cell only undergoes another transfer division and form terminal and the middle cell the terminal cell undergoes vertical as well as transfer division to form a globular embryo it is also form a large cotyledon and a plumule as the cotyledons grow it pushes the plumule to one side which is known as epiblast the single cotyledon monocots is known as scutellum it is shaped like a shield and appears as terminal the middle cell produces the hypocots and radical it could result in increasing the cells of the suspensor the protective sheath covers both the radical and the plumule they are called as the corrhiza and siloptiles receptively respectively sorry they may be extension of scutellum so in this portion or in this slide we are discussing about the monocot embryogeny so whatever topics we have just understood all the steps has been given here so for the better understanding you can just note it down or you can just go and read it i hope you might have understood these topics very well if not i urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again you can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books we at learn it are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities if you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail you can comment your questions down below in the comment section if you like our work please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel for more of such kind of updates stay tuned to the channel stay healthy stay safe and fit bye bye